So today I'm going to show you how to make a perfect poached egg. Anybody can do it if you have a really fresh egg. Otherwise, it becomes really, really challenging and I'll show you the difference and uh, the problem with it. Now, we've got lots and lots of hens here. We live in the middle of a farm and we have lots of happy, lazy hens running around and lots of different heritage breeds. So you can see that the hens lay different coloured eggs. This lovely bluey one uh, is actually laid by a hen called an Aracana. So take a lovely fresh egg and here's another little trick. Um, crack the egg into a cup and that'll make it easier to slide it into the water. Now have the water boiling ahead of time, but it's very important that it's not a really a turbulent boil, that it's a very gentle boat, water's barely moving. So I have some, uh, I have some here that came to the boil a moment ago. I'll give it a quick flash up again. And now I'm going to put some salt into the water. If you've got a very fresh egg, you don't need vinegar or anything at all. So I'm just going to turn that just to get it right up again. And then I'm going to turn it right down to a bare, bare, bare little simmer. And I'm going to slide the egg into the water. This is where the cup is really handy. Just slide it in like that. Look, and it uh, stays, uh, you see it stays a lovely perfect shape. So now let me show you the difference when you have an egg that's not quite so fresh. Another pot of water there, another bit of salt into it. Now here we have some eggs and I think these are uh, maybe 10 days or 12 days old. So, uh, and they're our own eggs as well. These are organic eggs from the farm. And, and the older they get, the sort of more watery and everything they get. But, so there you are, it looks pretty similar. Just slide this into the water again and you see what happens. Uh, it's all sort of frilly and and, uh, uh, and loose and everything, the contrast between the two. I'm just gonna pop in a little bit of toast. When you have a fresh egg, you don't have to do another single thing to it. Just leave it there with the water barely, barely moving until the uh, white, the albumin is just set but the yolk's still lovely and runny and then you can serve it but in all sorts of different ways. I really encourage you if you can at all if you've any little bit of lawn or garden maybe think about buying a chicken coop get a couple of hens you can feed them the food scraps from your house and they'll come back as eggs a few days later and then you have these beautiful fresh eggs and the children will know where eggs came from and all of that as well. Now, supposing you don't have a really fresh egg and the eggs in the shops can sometimes be, you know, a week or even 12 days old before they get on the shelves. So here I've got a bit of cling film um, in the cup. I'm just going to paint it with a little bit of oil like that. That's olive oil, but it could be, you know, one of the vegetable oils if you want to. And then crack an egg into it. So here's an egg again that's a, a little bit older, so it would be a bit more challenging. So pop that in there, okay? Now, and then gather up the corners like this. Gather them up, make, have a big enough piece of cling film so that it doesn't leak or anything. Then twist it around like that. There we go. We pop that in there into the water. And just doing this as a demonstration, I'm sort of really rather trying to cut down completely on cling film, but I'm just showing you this little chefy trick for this. Now, this one is just ready. Maybe it could even have come out a little uh, second earlier. There we are, it's absolutely perfect, like a sort of plump little cushion. Take a piece of toast. We'll slather it with a bit of butter. This is actually Jersey butter from our own, uh, the cream from our own Jersey cows. So now you could uh, put um, that directly onto the toast if you want it. just a simple poached egg and toast. Don't forget to put a sprinkle a little uh, flaky sea salt over it, maybe a little freshly cracked pepper like that. And if you wanted to, you could pop a little tiny piece of parsley on it on the side of it like that. Now let's go back to the other one here, um, the saucepan there. Uh, it's not bad, I've seen worse than that, but with this one, look, why don't we give it a little bit of help? I'm going to butter the, another piece of toast and then I'll take some, a little bit of avocado. And you see the lovely colour of that butter? That's uh, because the cows uh, from the Jerseys are very, have lovely, very, very rich cream. So it makes lovely uh, yellow butter. So now I'm avocado on this. So what we can do is we can just 
cut out a few little cubes and then you have your poached egg on avocado toast so we'll just scoop out like that actually it's perfectly ripe which is a great bonus and I'm going to sprinkle a little salt on it now i put my oh golly it's going to almost hide my avocado another little bit of flaky sea salt on top a little sprinkle of aleppo pepper so there we are it would be quite nice but not as uh, good as this one and now just let's see look so just cut it and oh how delicious that is just absolutely perfect and i had to do nothing to it we fish it out there we go so it's quite a, a good shape um but uh, it should really be helped certainly uh, with a little bit of oops it's hot a little bit of hollandaise or something so we'll pop that on top there and uh, i'll sprinkle this also with a little flaky sea salt we'll give it a little freshly cracked pepper help it out a little bit with some aleppo pepper a little so this is the perfectly fresh egg which I had to do absolutely nothing to, except to slide it into the water. No, I have a little salt in the water, but no vinegar, no vortex, nothing. All you need is a really fresh egg. This one was one of our own eggs as well, but about 10 days or 12 days old, and you can see it spread out around the water and not so appealing. And here is one, if you really don't have a fresh egg, you can cook it. Uh, in a little cling film, although I'm not a great fan of cling film. Give it a little help with uh, either some hollandaise sauce or a little crushed avocado and sea salt and uh, pepper flakes. So there you are. So that's the secret of a perfect poached egg for breakfast or a little early supper. So don't forget, if you have room in your backyard or on your lawn, try and get a little chicken coop, get a couple of hens. They'll turn the scraps from your kitchen uh, into delicious fresh eggs and then uh, anybody could create uh, a perfect poached egg which is a real feast in itself.